Hi, Mr. Ripka, with your daily dosage of Neruda during Corona. We have reached poem 48. 48 poems. Each poem had three to five questions. You can do the math. There have been quite a few questions in the last 48 days. Well, here are four more questions to add to the 48, actually add to the 47 previous poems. I hope there have been uh, at least one or two questions that uh, have lifted you into the realm of reflection, contemplation, brought you to your happy place. Here are four more questions. Perhaps these will lead you where no other questions have led you yet. Let's go ahead and begin. Son los senos de las sirenas, las redondescas caracolas. O son olas petrificadas, o juego inmovil de la espuma. No se ha incendiado la pradera con las luciernagas salvajes. Los peluqueros del otoño despeñaron los crisantemos. All right, here we go. English. The first two questions, incidentally, have to do with the sirens again. He brings up the sirens. If you remember, I think it was poem 20. Yes, he asked another question about the sirens. The sirens are those uh, mystical, ancient musicians, as it were, uh, from the ancient world. And they would sing these beautiful, alluring songs, and voyagers would want to listen to them. And they would, they would, become, they would travel closer and closer. You know, it was on sea. They were traveling on sea, and these sirens were in the ocean, unlike this rock. And, uh, and then the, beautiful, the songs were so beautiful that the voyagers would just sit there and gaze at them and then just kind of dwindle away and die and there were a bunch of bones around the sirens so he, he seems to like this idea of this this beautiful thing or the music or poetry or art whatever that is alluring and yet slightly dangerous or something maybe well, as we know odysseus got away with this right so they, he he was tied down to the mass so he could hear the songs and not desire to go there but even being tied down odysseus himself just wanted to go there like these songs are that beautiful all right so the poem 20 he brought up the sirens before he also brings up the sea quite a bit right another mysterious part of nature in poem 20 it said is it true that the amber contains the tears of the sirens so he's talking about tears of the sirens here he said are the breasts of the sirens spiral shells from the sea or are they petrified waves or the stationary play of the spoon i think that's spume um all right so he's really those are the first two questions and in the spanish you probably heard a lot of the os sounds las reinas las redondescas caracolas a lot of us us there's a lot of play with the os sound there in the Spanish. In the English, it's a, more or less a lot of play with the alliterative S sound. Sirens, spiral, shells, and sea. So you can see that. All right, so once again, those two were, are the breasts of the sirens spiral shells from the sea, or are they petrified waves, or the stationary play of the spume? All right, number two, or three. Hasn't the meadow caught fire with wild fireflies? What an interesting question. I don't think he's done a question like this before. He's just saying, hasn't this happened? Not why or are or how. Uh, instead, it just hasn't that happened? Almost like he's questioning why hasn't the meadow caught on fire with all those fireflies on it, right? So hasn't the meadow caught fire with wild fireflies? The last one, did Autumn's hairdressers uncomb these chrysanthemums? Uncomb? 
autumn's hairdressers. Beautiful image. The hairdressers of autumn. They come out. They must come out during autumn time, September, October. And I don't know. What does that even mean? They start uncombing the chrysanthemums, uncombing them, not combing them, uncombing them. Like they were combed, and now the hairdresser is making them disheveled. But that is normally, if I remember correctly, when chrysanthemums blossom during the fall. That's when the flowers come out. So maybe it has something to do with that. All right, let's wrap this up. All four in a row. Poem 48. I'll see you tomorrow for 49. And here are your questions. Are the breasts of the sirens spiral shells from the sea? Or are they petrified waves? Or the stationary play of the spoon? Hasn't the meadow caught fire with wild fireflies? And did autumn's hairdressers uncomb these chrysanthemums? Well, I hope you have a great day and a great week. And I'll see you tomorrow for Poem 49. Thanks again for joining me.